It was one of the most iconic days racing in motocross history, as 10-time motocross world champion, 33-year-old Stefan Everts gave young American Phenom James Stewart a riding lesson. In his last ever motocross race, with Evers going out on top with his unique and technically perfect riding style. Two of the three, in fact, of the leading teams already in terrible trouble at the start of the very on the Molson Kawasaki, the MX2 runner for Great Britain. A lot of the American people didn't give Everts a chance, predicting he would get beat by 30 seconds or more. Such was the disrespect of the World Championship at the time in a still very insulated America. Thankfully, times have changed since and MXGP now has this respect. But Stefan Edwards made a lot of people eat humble pie and they will say that they... African American to win any motorsport championship, James Stewart. To his first year as a professional rider. And he... And Stefan Everts are just However, the rest of the motocross world already knew the truth and marveled at one of, if not the greatest of all time, doing what he does the best on last time on the world stage and proving his greatness once again by putting an empathic exclamation mark on his career. Good riders right the way down the track. That was a glimpse of Neville Bradshaw who stood in at the last moment for Gareth Swanpole, Molson's Kawasaki's Gareth Swanpole version to victory to top off his magnificent career. But he's got this lad to contend with. Both riders, of course, would leave an indelible mark on the sport with the iconic James Tower Bubba Scrub used the world over and Stefan Everts' standing technique also imitated across the globe but never quite done to the level of the legendary Belgian. And look at this comparison in styles. There is Christophe Porcel trying to hang on to Villa Porto, just behind them, another former world champion. This was two of the most talented riders in the history of the sport and opposite ends of the career going at it for one time only. And it was the best race I have ever seen. So he's come back off a second injury to race for New Zealand here. And away round Ben Townley. Townley, of course, gave Ricky Carmichael a huge run for his money. Riding on the, the crowd and atmosphere was incredible. Antonio Carollo won the second moto on the dual 50s against the 450s and against Ryan Lopoto, Christophan Porcel and Ben Townley in a stack 250s class in what was a glimpse into the future of MXGP and AMA class racing. In his uh, debut season in Supercross, gets that downhill double and drops right in to the apex of the left-handed turn. Beautiful riding. But it was Stefan Evers and James Stewart in his first race outside the USA for his international fans to see in person. That he had the world talking before and it was Stefan Evers in the final race of his career that everyone was talking about after. Four-man Honda US squad that came over and won the trophy because there used to be 250cc and 500cc twice. Stefan Evers said of the race in his biography and an unhappy James Stewart who then said in the press conference he was racing for the team. We started passing each other and I saw him scrubbing on some of these jumps but couldn't really pull away. I made a pass on the inside of the off the camber where he was going on the inside. I think if he had tried to catch me again and pass me, he would have done, but he couldn't. For me, that's the point, and that's the end of it. Stefan Evers would visit James Stewart while in Orlando in 2007 at Ricky Carmichael last Supercross race to chat and quill any bad blood and James Stewart even signed a shirt for Stefan and Lamb Everts. It was uh, ending as we came on air, and then the next race will bring together the open collaboration for... It's nice, of course, for me to end that way, to win two motos against James Stewart in the last motocross destinations. I went out the best way I could have dreamed of. When we did the podium and all that, just for a little moment when the fans started to shout my name, it was a great moment for me. I hoped that it would be my day and I even thought I didn't feel at my best. That podium moment is something I won't ever forget in my life, Stefan ever said after the race. Stewart gets rammed back by the broad shoulders of David Philippard and he's tucks in up the inside just behind Steve Ramon on the 450s. 
The Motocross World Championship itself was amazing for Stefan Edwards. He won 14 stages out of 15, which is unbelievable. Stefan Edwards is a legend of the legends. A 10-time Motocross World Champion who was unstoppable in his last year and won everything. However, it is safe to say that he was the fastest in the world. Meanwhile, James Stewart was also starting to show the great results in America, finishing second in the Supercross Championship and fourth in Motocross Championship. However, it was immediately known that the fight between these two riders would be special. So now, let's talk about two races between James Stewart and Stefan Everts. The first race started with Stefan Evers' hole shot. James Stewart started second, but he made a mistake in the first lap, crashed and was seventh. Another mega talent Ryan Villapoto moved up to second place, who held almost the entire race in second position. James Stewart moved up the positions through the race and the rest with four laps to go he was able to overtake Ryan Villapoto and move up to second. But Stefan Everts had built up safe distance to finish first. The second race started a little bit different. Hull shot was taken by David Pilleparts. Second was Mackenzie and third was Josh Coppins. But everything changed quickly and Stevan Everts rode to second position already in the third lap. Meanwhile, James Stewart was not firing behind and was always next to Stefan Everts, driving the third position. On lap 7, Everts passed David Pilleparts while James Stewart overtook him too. And the battle between the two motocross legends began. Two times in different laps Jim Stewart overtook Stephen Everts, but the motocross legend was always able to hit back at the same young talent Jim Stewart. As the race progressed into the second half, Stephen Everts continued to close on Stewart and built up solid a gap, which he continued to do until the end of the race. Stephen Everts won the second race as well, with Jim Stewart second again. It was amazing to see and admire the duel and speed of these two riders, but this time the experience won. Again in 1996, in 2000 and in 2005, they are the defending champions. American Shores at the end of 1980 to become boss of Honda America's racing. Two guys swapping by. Oh, Everts, where did he pull that from? Feet pinned, he goes on the outside. The American is always looking for that inside. The overall was won by America. The Belgians were second and New Zealand was third. But the overall champion among the 450s was Stefan Evers, just proving that he's the fastest racer in the world. Isn't it great to finish your last race on a high level? It was almost 18 years ago. But this story will live forever. It is incredibly difficult to understand what level Stephen Edwards was at that time. Although he said he didn't expect such a victory in his last race, one can only speculate. Maybe in the 2007 season, Stephen Edwards would have dominated again and won the Motocross World Championship. I don't know. Although he was already 36 years old. Then, his speed, experience and calmness allowed him to maintain the level through his career. Probably, the Stefan Everts record of 10-time World Motocross Championship titles will remain for a very long time, and maybe forever, an unbreakable record. The closest person to this is Antonio Piroli and his nine titles. In order to achieve just a result, you have to be stable, work hard and not get injured for a very, very long time. So I just wanted to say, Stefan Everts, you are the legend forever.